This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WIP Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Thursday headlines of Friday Eve here in South Louisiana. Going to get to that forecast in a minute. I think you probably already know what to expect. Going to be another hot day here uh, in Louisiana. But this day is a little bit different when you check the calendar. Brand new month, right? Welcome to August 1st. And so for folks in Louisiana, that means some new laws. And in fact, if you get over to WAP.com or your 9 News app, you can see a number of stories about some of these new laws. And this is just a sampling. Uh, for example, permitless carry. Uh, it now becomes the reality in a lot of places in Louisiana. You can check out the story. Some folks still in the Orleans Parish, particularly the uh, French Quarter area, looking to fight that, trying to say, they say, uh, keep their uh, streets safer without uh, more guns on the streets. Also, artificial intelligence, a new law going into place, having to deal with the dissemination of, of certain images as it relates to actual human beings, getting their permission before you do this kind of thing. Uh, is that going to stick? How well? I mean, look, AI just continues to evolve here. So trying to put some rules in place to, to curtail some of it. Also, uh, new rules for schools. You need to check this one out. I mean, we got school right around the corner and some of this comes to discipline. All right, and what teachers are able to do, what parents and students need to do, all those waiting for you online. Speaking of schools, it is right around the corner. East Baton Rouge Public School System has a brand new superintendent, talked a lot about that recently. Today, the school board is meeting to talk about their contracts. Of course, that is Lamont Cole setting up shop now as the superintendent, Adam Smith now the deputy superintendent, and they need to figure out the contracts going forward. So that's gonna be a part of today's school board meeting, seeing how this looks going forward. We'll let you know what comes out of that. But yeah, school is right around the corner. So do this as well. Uh, you may not have everything that you need to get going on that day one. There are a number of supply drives that could be available to you. So check this out, WAP.com. Our digital team has put this running list together. It's broken down by, by kind of the, obviously the day uh, that it's happening and the, and the where, perhaps uh, more importantly to you, uh, close to you, the where it's happening, a running list. So if you're still in need of a little bit of something, maybe check one of these out because yes, school is right around the corner. Those start dates really get, you got some going back this week. I got friends with kids going back today in fact, depending on, on where you're going to school. So uh, check out the list, see if you might need a little bit of something extra. Speaking of extra, it kind of describes the big Amazon facility in Baton Rouge. I know you've seen it. It's uh, only about three and a half million square feet. It's over there, the old Cortana Mall site. It's about to really kick into gear here and start the deliveries. And actually, I'm at Venezia live there this morning and this morning as well. He's going to take a tour inside the facility. So look for that story in later editions of Nine News. That'll be interesting to, say, to kind of get an inside look. And when you do get an inside look, you may notice it's a whole bunch of robots going on in there. That's what makes this particular facility unique in Louisiana. It's got that robot kind of sorting facility inside. They still do need the humans, though, and that's one of the, the, the good things about this particular facility. They got a lot of jobs they're going to want to try and roll out. And check this out with, uh, within Matt's story here as well. Who can uh, apply for this? The benefits that you get for like day like on day one, the benefits that you get from this as well. But again, that new Amazon facility beginning to roll out, so to speak, uh, in South Louisiana should be an interesting tour uh, that Matt Venezia gets to take a little bit later on today as well. Today, weather-wise, another hot one. Uh, meteorologist Jared Silverman, who for the first time this morning, a uh, full-time member of Nine News this morning, uh, of course, he's no stranger uh, to the uh, Nine News viewers who've been here for a while. But today, marking day one as full time on Nine News this morning as as chief meteorologist, uh, Dr. Steve Caparata moves to the evenings because Jay Grimes has now retired. So all of them would tell you, get ready for the heat. Check this out. And this is what we're kind of headed towards today. Got some more heat to play around with, but of course it is uh, nothing to play with. So please be careful out there. The 10 day forecast showing you what we're expecting in the next number of days. So yeah, stuck in it as August begins. It's typically the hottest month around here. So get ready for it because it's certainly going to be around for a while. Y'all be safe out there, huh? See you next time. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.